Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, if you're new here please subscribe, and don't forget to like, if this video hits 500 likes, I'm gonna make a video about hologram using particles, so smash that button and let's go. In general, most Minecraft players know how to make a tail using command blocks and particles commands, but today in this video, I'm going to take it to another level, by using Python programming and math. I will leave you with an explanation of how to make a tail of a fire particle, using only the command blocks, this is the normal tail which is easy to make. All what you have to do is to get 4 command blocks. First command block is repeated which resummon the armor stand if broke. The second command will teleport the armor stand wherever is the player. Then the third command block is followed by the first command block, which hides the armor stand without showing external effects. And the final command block with the most important command which is the particle. This will create a particle effect on the position of the armor stand. And this is how we get a tail. But this is not what we wanted. You'll find all commands in the description below. If you already know this stuff so you can skip to the next one. And finally we've done, and this is how we get the normal tail effect. So the idea of using Python comes with the scoreboard command, which will help us and works like a frames clock, so we can animate the particle. This will take a lot of time writing over 100 commands, here's Python's turn. We will create all these commands in less than 5 seconds. Here is an example of how the scoreboard and particle commands works together, and created an animated particle effect. I'll leave the scoreboard tutorials in the description below. You can also skip this boring part of the video if you want, it's not that important.
After learn how scoreboard and particle command works together. No let's move to the math work. To create a circle in 2D dimension graph using math, you need to get an interval from 0 to 2 pi. This values represent as circle points. All what you need is to set axes and ales, which is the sin and cos of this points. When representing these points together we get the shape of a circle, and that's all we need until now. This script we are making generates Minecraft commands to create a flame particle effect. The effect consists of two circles of flames, one above the other. The top circle is created by incrementing the z-value, and the bottom circle is created by decrementing the z-value. The x and y values are calculated using the cosine and sine functions, respectively, with a given radius r. The particle used is Minecraft basic flame particle. The commands are written, will store an mc function file. As you can see, we start by importing the numpy in math libraries. This step is very important because we need it in our code. So the points variable is storing the values between 0 and 2 pi. No we will make a loop to get all axes and nails values and store them on x and y variables. Set the z value to 0 and the radius to 0.5 and store them on z and r variables. And then we will create our Minecraft command. A few moments later